The presynaptic neuromuscular nerve ending contains membranous vesicles prepared to release its stored neurotransmitter, acetylcholine. Neuronal stimulation initiates a cascade of events that leads to the fusion of the neurotransmitter-containing vesicle with a nerve membrane. This process is facilitated by a group of proteins comprising the snare complex. The membrane fusion results in the release of acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft by a process of exocytosis. The acetylcholine diffuses and eventually binds to receptors on the muscle, leading to muscle contraction. Botox, botulinum toxin type A, consists of a heavy chain of 100 kilodalton and a light chain of 50 kilodalton making up the 150 kilodalton core type A molecule. The toxin is protected by accessory hemagglutinin and non-toxic non-hemagglutinin proteins, yielding a uniform 900 kilodalton complex. This illustration shows a cross-section of the spine with a motor neuron extending into the muscle and a sensory neuron extending out of the muscle. After injection of Botox, it would be expected that most of the neurotoxin would remain at the injection site. The Botox core molecule dissociates from the accessory proteins and targets the nerve endings. The binding domain of the Botox core molecule is the C-terminal portion of the heavy chain with an acceptor on the nerve. The Botox core molecule enters the nerve cell by a process of receptor-mediated endocytosis. It is the heavy chain that contains the binding domain. The toxin is now contained in a membranous vesicle inside the cell. Soon after, the light chain is released into the cytoplasm of the nerve terminal, where it begins to cleave one of the snare proteins. In motor neurons, the light chain of the Botox core molecule blocks the release of acetylcholine by cleaving SNAP25, which is an essential component of the snare complex. When acetylcholine cannot be released, muscle contraction cannot occur. In sensory neurons, the light chain is believed to cleave SNAP25 by a similar mechanism, thereby blocking the release of neuropeptide neurotransmitters and inhibiting the sensitization of pain nerves. The toxin does not appear to affect the conduction of electrical signals along the nerve fiber or the synthesis or storage of acetylcholine.